All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the devs and the devs are speaking on upcoming multiplayer changes. So this video is part two of a two part series. It is strictly about multiplayer because I do miss it a lot in um, a lot of my normal dev talk videos. I don't talk about multiplayer as much as I should. So uh, I decided to make this video and the previous one specifically for multiplayer players and all the changes that are gonna be coming. So uh, part one will be linked down below if you missed it. Uh, I don't think it got sent out by YouTube either, so it will be in the description. Uh, also, like I said before, I do not play multiplayer a lot. I mostly play single player. So I'm gonna read out the statements and reply from the developers and give my opinion at the end. Um, also, I have a lot of dev talk videos on my channel. So if you like this type of content and you want more info, there. Um, there's a lot on my channel. I do a couple of these per week, you know, so uh, Yeah, you guys can go check that out if you would like and uh, uh, Lastly the link to the official Bandlord forums will be down below as well And like always I have a script. It's gonna be on the screen right now um, everything that's said all links will be down in the description and uh, Yeah, let's go from there So first we're gonna start with a thread made by a player and then talk about all the dev replies to this specific thread Because this thread got a lot of attention from the developers like the previous one in part one of the two-part series So I'm gonna read the post. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's a pretty long one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna simply read through the whole thing as um, The main poster intended So uh, here we go so the title is skirmish mode in parentheses the irrelevancy of two-handed classes So now this is something that concerns me and I hope many other players It's my baby doll my firstborn daughter my love and my paramount the two-handed classes and mountain blade Hundreds of hours have I played mostly two-handed and warband and enjoyed every minute every minute of it what was a burning passion for two-handed classes is now one of the big cognitive dissonance. That's some big words, man. Because I feel like blank every time I pick my beloved two-handed class in skirmish. I feel like a total tool taking away the win from my teammates for the sake of my personal enjoyment. Uh, this thread concerns skirmish only. Two-handed classes are amazing in captain mode and they are relevant in any kind of chaotic chaotic type mode like TDM or siege but when it comes to an organized low scaled fighting two-handed class two hand classes are completely underused underperforming and irrelevant all of you skirmisher veterans take a step back and ask yourself when you play a shield infantry class and you encounter two-handed class what is the first thing that pops into your mind here's mine aha a free kill on a silver platter for the you, I don't know what in the world that means. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Ninety percent of the time, I'm right. It's a free kill for me, and sometimes I'm surprised by uh, Manavlian. I can't pronounce words, so deal with it. I don't want to hear it in the comments. I don't want to hear how badly I said it. It is what it is. Let's continue. Uh, no matter the class I, no matter the class I pe I play. When I see a two-handed class near me, I feel safe because I know he's dying. In the next 10 seconds, no matter the cause, he's dying. Soon for me or any of my teammates. Uh, now, TLDR. So, uh, they die as quick as they kill their uh, melee opponents. They're too vulnerable to projectiles. Uh, my suggestion, nerf projectile damage and turn it into blunt damage. Uh, some classes, mostly archers, have two-handed weapons, while two-handed classes should be the only ones having them. True. They should be the ones who have access to throwing weapons, not shield wearers. They should all run as fast as the savage. And uh, their meta is flankers slash assassins. Okay. What are these classes? The mane uh, manevli I can't say that word. Manevlian. M, I'm gonna call it M, M Infantry, Volgire, Savage, Berserker, Guard. Uh, pros and cons of these classes. Pros, they run faster, especially Savage. They out damage their opponents only when the opponent is not heavily armored. They can one shot low armored opponents, and it takes two to four shots to kill a heavily armored opponent. 
And uh, another pro is longer weapons. Cons. The infamous most cons of all cons, they're ultra massively, ultra massively, extremely vulnerable to projectiles. Their armor is so low, many, many times throwing weapons will straight up one shot them. When appearing on the battlefield, all the archers turn into predators and start spamming arrows in the two handers direction. Uh, another con is low armor. Armor so low, one hand weapon will two shot you most of the time. They're very vulnerable to projectiles, as mentioned before. Uh, harder to block with. The block delay is being addressed. This may change. Okay. Vulnerable to projectiles. The amount of throwing weapons are being addressed. This may help a little. Uh, no shield, which makes them vulnerable to projectile. There's a lot of vulnerable to projectiles. I don't know if he did it out of sarcasm or he just... <laughs> or it's really that bad. <laughs> Also, they're super vulnerable to weapons. Okay, we get it, man. We get it. They get absolutely destroyed. This this could have been four bullet points, but I can I, I, I can see the frustration. Okay. So, where to start? Why in all of the millions of Fs would someone be... Maso... I don't know what that word even means, man. Enough to pick a class. So, I'm guessing it means crazy. I'm just gonna say it's, it's a fancy word for crazy crazy enough to pick a class one of which most of the times takes as many hits to down his opponents as the classes they are wearing shields average of two hits of course two-handed classes will more likely one-shot people that are wearing linen as armor uh, such as archers peasants and two other two-handed classes but when it comes to armored classes one-handed maces are more more lethal overall and they also come with a big fat shield. Two, some classes are stealing their uh, specialization right in their face. Most guilty being the pa uh, Palatine Guard. For a mere amount of 30 morale, you can be a uh, Palatine Guard. Am I saying that right? I'm not saying it right. Instead of uh, the men infantry and have a men for a weapon. I can't say that word either. It's on the screen. You guys can follow along. The M Infantry has 100 HP, 7 armor, and 80 movement speed. The Palatine Guard have 32 armor, 75 movement speed, and 100 HP. So basically, the Palatine Guard is an armored uh, M Infantry with a bow and slightly slower movement speed. Uh, some same could be said about for the Fion having a two-handed weapon, the Hunter having a two-handed weapon, the Khans Guard having the best two-handed class in the game, which happens to be an archer as well. So not only are these archers the nemesis for two-handed weapons, but they accumulate them by two-handed classes themselves when they run out of arrows. Yeah, I kinda, if that's what's going on, then yeah, that should definitely not be going on. I think archers, like, kind of like, I feel like the archer should have, like, some very weak, close-handed uh weapon you know like a dagger or something like that that's what they used to have in um what do you call it i think they still have it in banner lore where if you go into an arena with a bow and arrow your secondary weapon is a dagger if i'm not mistaken i think that's how they did in warband too so yes i kind of agree with that hopefully that will be changed uh now two-handed classes should be the ones and only specialized two-handed classes uh, yeah i believe true Remove all these two-handed weapons from archer classes and tweak the weapon proficiency so, so the two-handed classes are the true specialized ones. I agree with that. Arrows and bolts are one to two shot in two-handed classes. Now this is a difficult thing to address because if these are two nerfed, they become null against armor. True. Armors and bolts should be nerfed and turned to uh, blunt damage, reducing the damage they deal to low armored classes but keeping their da damage relevant to heavy armored classes so basically they deal the same damage to everyone okay i do not care if this makes sense or is not in a realistic fashion i don't care if real life arrows aren't considered blunt but th this is a game and for the gameplay sake they should become blunt and balanced in a way they don't destroy two-handed low armored classes okay discussion what is the position of two-handed classes in the current meta they do not occupy any relevant position in the current meta, which is way too overflowing with projectiles of all sorts. I may change my stance a bit once 
there's less projectiles in the fights, but I think two hand classes will remain irrelevant in total tools when it comes to skirmish. They have a weakness that makes them so heavily flawed. None of these cons listed b before are making up for it. None of the cons is worth being that vulnerable on the battlefield. I would like to point I would like to point finger at one of the two handed classes that in my opinion is the closest uh, that can ever be to a competitive state, the Savage. The Savage is a very high movement speed which makes the which makes them harder to hit for projectiles, significantly helping them overcome the main weaknesses of two handed classes. More often than not, savages are able to dance their way to an archer missing his shots over and over again until the savage has his hands on the poor archer's neck. This movement speed is caused by the ultra low armor the savage has. So from my personal experiences, 75% <laughs> I just had a hard stutter. <laughs> Sorry. So from my personal experience, 75% of the projectiles that hits me will one shot me as a savage. The savage also has a weapon of mass destruction, a two handed mace. This uh, magnificent weapon truly is a weapon to be feared by oath swarms, legionary uh, sergeants, and all the other heavy armored classes, making the savage quite possibly the most dangerous uh, opponents. Uh, so basically, I believe that high uh, movement speed is what makes two handed classes the most relevant they can be because it turns them into what they should be in the meta flankers, assassins, damage dealers. We look at any other competitive game that works with classes of characters such as League of Legends, there's always damage dealers, tanks, and supports. And Banner Lords, Cavalry would be the support class, heavy infantry, the tanks, the damage dealers would be the archers, and two handed classes. Uh, movement speed helps two handed classes do what they were meant to do. The most damage dealt in a fight, which allows them to slip away when enemies slip away through enemies like a soap bar and uh, wound them one after the other. Uh, movement speed gives them the possibility to flank archers and surprise them so often so often do I s surprise archers in their backs as savage. Unfortunately savage is the only class that benefits from the type of movement speed. All the other two handed classes listed are too slow therefore too easy to hit with projectiles unable to flank and properly deal damage. I said another threat of mine and I'll bring you back here. Two handed classes should be the ones who have the throwing weapons, and heavy infantry classes should not have access to throwing weapons. Giving them this perk reduces the amount of projectiles directed to them, but also gives them an edge when it comes to damage dealing. Okay, that was a long read. Jesus, 12 minutes of reading. Okay, um, so basically, what is stated here as a quick summary two handed classes are trash at the moment. Um, they're too vulnerable to a lot of uh, stuff that's in the meta right now, which is throwing weapons and archers. Uh, he suggests to make them faster, a lot faster, so they can deal damage and slip away. And also to get rid of some of the throwing weapon abuse, you know, so get rid of throwing weapons from specific classes. And also get rid of two-handed weapons for archers, because obviously they shouldn't be archers and two-handed at the same time but that's pretty much the overall description of the post now let's get into the dev replies so uh first we have the dev stating that the shock troops will get a slight speed increase and other heavy infantry will get a slight uh decrease in speed in the new patch also crush through for heavy weapons will be completed which allows a chance for damage to pass through a block Devs also mentioned that the, that the amount of throwing weapons available for classes are being lowered. These changes should help shock troops in the devs' opinions. So I covered this same change in another video from two days ago. But like in that video I stated I was going to go more in depth and kind of, you know what I mean? With specific threads as we're doing right now. So you might have heard this if you watched my previous video. Uh, second, we have two replies from the devs. First being... To players suggesting that heavy infantry should not have throwing weapons. Dev state that that was their idea pretty much, but other changes need to be made before they can change and adjust heavy infantry perks. This is planned in the following patch. Second player states that he thinks um, this is a good way of going about changing and adjusting the classes and should result in less periods of severe imbalance. Dev state, uh, Dev's reply and state that severe imbalance will not happen and that the player has the dev's words on that. 
Uh, third, we have a player talking about a kiting issue with archers where heavy infantry can't catch them and hopefully an archer speed nerf happens soon. Um, devs respond that heavy infantry can catch archers if they chase consistently and, and that there's three other infantry classes that can catch archers. Also, that heavy infantry, heavy infantry can't be the solution for everything in every single class. It has to have its weaknesses. Uh, fourth, we have two replies from the devs to the same player. The player first asks what the crush through changes are exactly and how they will benefit shock troops. Devs stay in a reply uh, that basically when heavy weapons are blocked, damage will still go through, which does benefit shock troops. Second, the player state, uh, states that he wants all classes to be viable and to bring the changes and eventually we will get there. Devs reply that is what they are aiming for. So that's pretty much all the statements and the dev replies. Uh, so pretty much here's my take. It's kind of the same take I had in the other video. Uh, like I said, I can't give a lot of info because I don't play multiplayer as much. But uh, I know multiplayer has a great fan base and it's good that the devs are, you know, having a lot of replies, talking about future changes and, uh, you know, talking with the community and working with the community. I think that's good to see. I think uh, good changes will be made because of it, and uh, hopefully, overall, everything will be good in the end in terms of multiplayer, right? And uh, lastly, I'm going to end this video in the same way I end most of my update and dev talk videos. I do want to thank the developers for staying active and bringing good changes. Um, I know some people are impatient, very negative on the forums, but me and hopefully a huge group of people. Um, you know, we do understand that this is going to take some time. It's an early access game and there's going to be, you know, a lot of, you know, bugs and crashes and all that, but that's just part of the process. Also, as an early access game, if you are playing on the beta, which is pretty much what most people are playing on. So if you're on auto update on Steam, you're playing on the beta. And if you are, you need to expect more crashes, more instability, because the beta branch is meant for playtesting and reporting. Now, if you would like to play in a stable environment, I would suggest you play in a stable live patch of the game. I play in 1.3, currently when we are in 1.4.2. So, I'm a couple patches behind, but I have very stable gameplay. So, if you would also like to have very stable gameplay, I have a video on how you can switch back to a stable patch, and that link will be down below in the description if you want to change back. Now, hopefully this was informative. Ask me any questions, and like always, stay safe.